scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There is a lady in Overflow 1. Please carry the person and bring the person. I want to speak to the person before we get to the word. I'm seeing the hand of God rest on a lady in Overflow 1. Please bring the lady and let's trust God for grace. Can we still pray for that and say, Lord, do something in my life. Give me results. Give me real results. Take me past the realm of guessing to the realm of mastery. The name of Jesus Christ the Lord is saying he is bringing the captivity of your family to an end you see it will sound like a joke until you hear the testimony when a Jimmy was sharing here this is the word of God it comes straight and is over except the word does not come when it comes to you that is the end of it this is what we came for that we will encounter his word Listen, listen, let me tell you something. Challenges are relative. They are relative to the grace that confronts them. Challenges are not general. It depends on the grace that confronts them. That's why God is granting us access. He's granting us illumination. Praise the Lord. Illumination. Illumination. Even by His Spirit. This row, just right here, this row down. I'm seeing two people who are receiving the spirit of revelation. Just this last row down like this. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. The spirit of revelation. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me, two of them. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. And set me upon my feet. And the spirit entered me. And the spirit entered me if someone praying let your spirit be alive you are not only watching you are receiving like Kenny shared there is a grace to receive a grace to receive a grace to receive be sensitive gentlemen be sensitive grace to receive grace to receive overflow to overflow to the Lord is bringing speed. I'm seeing like an arrow, but this is not evil. This is a grace. A grace. Please bring them overflow too. Someone's hunger is touching the heavens. We'll get to the word shortly. Let's just do justice to what God is doing. God is bringing speed overflow to particularly overflow to speed no more delay by the spirit of god
above all names in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names God is taking away limitations he's doing it by his spirit he's taking away limitations he's taking away limitations he's taking away limitations in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah Father, bless our hearts in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. One of the ushers, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, I should tell you, the set time has come. This is one of the ushers, just the ushers. The set time has come. The set time has come. This is a prophetic word for one of the ushers. The set time has come. That's what the Lord is saying. And when God speaks like this, there is a grace that brings and makes for performance. One of our ushers, the Lord is prophesying that your set time has come. Jeremiah chapter 9. Let's get to the word, the glory that excels. Jeremiah chapter 9, we'll start from verse 23. 23. Thus saith the Lord, please pay attention let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches next verse but let him that glorieth glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me that he understandeth and knoweth me the bible starts by listing four categories of people alongside the fact that every of those dimensions carries glory he starts by saying let not the wise man glory in his wisdom so there is glory in that level of wisdom that wisdom there is not divine wisdom sophia human wisdom scientific wisdom wisdom that is a product of exploring life for a long time it says let not please go back 23 let not the wise man glory in his wisdom when the bible says to not do something it means that it is possible to do it are we together that means there is a level of glory that the wisdom of this world can bring then he moves to the next level he says neither let the mighty man glory in your might so there is glory in might there are men and women with all kinds of might intellectual might military might and there is a level of glory that you see there number three he says let not the rich man glory in his riches it means there is glory in riches are we together that it is possible for you to be rich and there is a glory there and then he says but let him that glory it so in any case there must be glory but he's only giving you a reference listen carefully 
he is not saying glory in strength and all of this and he's showing you an excellent dimension that there is glory in the wisdom of men are we together now there is glory in might there is glory in riches however this is the kind and the dimension i want your glory to be a derivative of the fact that you understand and you know me because in understanding and knowing me there is a representation of all these glories you forsake that you ignore the glory that comes with the wisdom of men you ignore the glory that comes with might aside from god you ignore the glory that comes with riches outside of god and then you seek to understand and know him he says there is a glory that is in that experience that is surpassing greater than the glory that comes all of these dimensions of glory they are there but he's showing you that there is a glory that excels there is a glory that excels the wisdom of men there is a glory that excels the might of men there is a glory that excels earthly riches he says that glory is a product of an encounter that you understand and you know me that means that if four of us stand we can both emit levels of glory but i can trace the basis of that glory i can know that your glory comes just from earthly riches your glory comes from sophia human wisdom your glory comes from the military might but i can look at a man and know that this one this glory is a product of knowing God is it not written in your Bible that the people that do know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploits the word glory is very important the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth listen carefully in the simplest term the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth a measure of its value a measure of its desirability the more glorious a person and a thing is the more you are desired the more the weight of the value that is placed on you and so imagine with me for instance that all of these dimensions are like gold that you are placing on a scale so you place the glory that comes from earthly wisdom and the scale will measure it you will write it you place the glory that comes with riches and might but then that there is a glory that the scale cannot measure when it comes from knowing God you drop it is a glory that excels is an all surpassing glory please pay attention I'm building something now so the Bible begins to contrast number one he says it is important that the saints glory but it tells you what to glory in because herein is our father glorified when you bear much fruit in your being glorified God is being glorified John 17 Jesus said the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son may give you glory meaning an unglorified saint cannot bring glory to the father the glory of the father is in the glory of the saints are we together now that if there is a dimension of glory the saints do not express it will short circuit the understanding of creation about God glorify now thy son that thy son will bring you glory add weight to your son add desirability put something within him that the rich outside you cannot have put something within him that the wise outside you cannot have that when you stand on the scale of destiny is a weight that cannot be measured the glory that excels hmm. in mark chapter 2 Jesus taught a mystery that I want to connect to this very quickly. His mysteries were captured in his parables. And in one of the parables, he teaches us on the mystery of wineskins. Please give us verse 18, Mark chapter 2. 
there is a glory that excels and the disciples of John and the Pharisees and you know and they came home to him and said to him why do the disciples of John and of the Pharisees fast oh dear but thy disciples fast not 19 and Jesus said he's replying a question remember that the foundation of this question was the issue of rituals structures systems keep that in mind so he was challenging Jesus's violation of a system this is the basis for this statement there is a methodology there is a way things were done and now they found out that Jesus was routing his system he was not conforming to what they were doing and they they were questioning his authority what gave you the audacity to come up with another formula we are used to this this is the ritual but now jesus we see you mentoring your disciples through another route and jesus is replying can the children of the bridegroom or bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them as long as they have the bridegroom with them they cannot fast 20. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then they shall fast in those days 21 he says no man now listen he's buttressing on this point now no man also sewed a piece of new cloth on an old garment else the new piece that filled it up take it away from the old and the rent is made worse are we together now next verse and no man put it new wine into old bottles or an old wine skin why else the new wine don't bust the bottles and the wine is spilled and the the bottles will be marred but the new wine must not may be put in a new wine skin listen very carefully Jesus is teaching them something here very powerful and then he now brings this his parables on the cloth and then more importantly the wineskin he's saying that if you put wineskin I hope you know that the wineskin he now calls old was once new don't forget that what he now calls old was by a reference new and now he's saying that if you are bringing new wine that it is not possible to bring new wine and put it in an old wine skin that the effect it would be better to have left the old wine and the old wine skin that if you try to mix them there will be a reaction and that that reaction will make the condition worse listen carefully there is a reason why revivals never last there is a reason why the move of God comes for a while. Revival, revival, revival. People organize programs and for one or two weeks, people feel spiritual. They feel connected and one month later, everyone has gone back to his ways. The reason is because we continue to violate the condition that makes for new wine to be comfortable. The focus is never on the new wine. He says you attract new wine by doing something to the wine skin. You don't ask new wine to come. Something must happen to the wine skin that automatically attracts new wine. Listen carefully. Wine skin in scripture is symbolic of structures and systems. You have to understand this. It's not only just symbolic of a man. It's symbolic of methodologies and strategies. That for every move of God, there is a pattern and there is a spiritual formation that can contain it and host it. Are we together now? I shared with you in one of the services how that when it came to killing the Philistines, God gave Samson a revelation and he took the dry bone, jaw bone of an ass and he killed the Philistines with it. As soon as he was done, he was asked to throw it. Sometimes you don't throw things because they have stopped working. You throw them because they will not be needed again, although they are still working. The Bible never said the old wineskin were already torn. 
it could still contain it but that new wine in an old wine skin cannot last every move of god and every dimension of glory has a spiritual formation that you must assume otherwise the glory will not be comfortable around you and it will be wasted this is what jesus is teaching that anything anything that is new from heaven that is coming the focus is not on what is coming the focus is on the preparation Ejimi shared that scripture powerfully here when it was time for them to experience the glory of God there were conditions he said sanctify yourself one day is not enough two days not enough three days not enough prepare yourself and even at that when they saw the glory they were preparing for they said Moses you go and just talk with God whatever he tells you tell us we will listen most people are not prepared for what they pray for because the glory of God listen is one thing to ask and continue to ask one of the reasons why the glory of God may elude certain people the weightiness of his presence it may be that we continue to desire that the new wine comes upon the old wine skin and God says my not giving you is an act of my mercy because there will be a reaction when the new wine comes upon the old wine skin that your condition will be worse than you currently are that means it is possible to dish out revelation and a believer's life starts failing from the day he had that revelation it is not only error that destroys there is a dimension of truth you can bring and from the day the believer received it his life begins to go down because the effect of that new wine on his old wine skin creates room for his own destruction this is not a demon this is not satan this is a spiritual reaction jesus is teaching us here so he's giving us a word of caution that if it is true that you need a new wine skin then you must find out the structure when the glory of God was going to rest upon the tabernacle in the Old Testament at that time the tabernacle was a new wine skin so Bezalel and Aholiab had to receive from God the blueprint the kind of tabernacle that can host the glory they were praying for are we together now they were never to be left to decide God come read your Bible God never comes until a people are prepared by his standards not by their desire not by their cry not by their hunger whenever God wants to come bringing his anointing his grace and all the possibilities contained in him there will be a requirement you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin we're talking about the glory of God here that there is a glory that excels but I'm showing you the technology by which men transit to rise to superior realms every old wine was once a new wine this is what I want you to know no old wine starts as old wine the tabernacle the law was once new wine the tabernacle in the wilderness was once new wine but a day came when God said I'm connecting this story now they were used to the new wine they saw the glory that came with the tabernacle the ark of the covenant they saw the victories that it brought for them now Jesus appears and then they are saying Jesus if you are from God you must fit into this structure and he says I agree it was one a new wine skin but now I'm bringing in something do you have the flexibility and the unashamedness to restructure and adjust your vessel and sometimes replace it completely so that you can host the new he was speaking to scribes he was speaking to Pharisees when they saw his miracles and they saw the things that he did they looked at their structure and wondered why those structures did not host that thing I hope you know God was the one who instituted their structure but God had left their structure once upon a time John was the new wine skin that was being used the theology that John brought was the most current dealing of the spirit John was in the wilderness and God was giving him mysteries until then there was nobody who could stand as anything newer than John 
Jesus himself testified that of all the prophets, no matter what they saw, nobody reached John's dimension of glory. But John was wise. When Jesus came, he said, Behold the Lamb. And John said, Look, I know that with respect to this, I have become an old wine skin. Let me decrease that he will increase. Are you seeing that technology? I decrease. This is the vessel that God is pouring his glory. And when you look up to him, then you are not ashamed. John departed and his disciples were offended. Because at a point they felt, John, what are you doing? You were shining. You were the person at the center stage. Your entire theology was what we built our lives on. And right now you are asking us, are you trying to say all you have taught us was error? And John was trying to say, no, I'm only showing you that there is another dimension of glory that has come. And my structure cannot hold that glory. I was a forerunner. Now that that glory has come, follow that glory. Amazing that John himself didn't follow the glory. And not even him was spared. John died whereas others were being resurrected. There was a provision in a new structure that John could not experience. He died in offense. He died in pain. He died hating Jesus. He died probing the messiahship of Jesus. The man who ordained Jesus to ministry. The man who caused that his heavens were open. He said, go and ask him, are you the Messiah or should we seek for another? Notice that every time they fought Jesus, they didn't just fight the miracles. They fought the wineskin, the structure. Why are you coming with another pattern? They caught a woman who was in adultery and there was a structure already that when this woman is caught, you don't discuss, you stone her and immediately Jesus looks at them and creates another order. Listen to me. You cannot put new wineskin, new revelation, new anointing, new glory, old structure that does not have the provision to receive it. The question is to sustain the sacrifice and the flexibility that even if it means to tear the old wine to give way, let me tell you that's not as easy as it sounds. That's why we are here tonight. If it was that easy, many people will carry the glory that excels. The hardest part of the coming of the glory is not its arrival. It is the level of stretching that happens to a man to have the new wine skin that makes for the space that this new glory will come upon. That's why we are here. We can, we can shout and jump and say, greater anointing, oh God. Greater this. Do you know that the level of living is not the same? Every level of glory has its rules and conditions. This is it. So we may be born again, but the spiritual levels and the levels of glory that come out of us will have certain rules. Because of the level God has taken you, he will give you a rule that is only applicable to you on earth. No other person. It may not make sense, but that is the price to keep the wine skin new. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less when we know there's more that's found in you i wrote something down here listen that every level of glory has its demands there is a price to pay for every dimension of the glory of god that we seek to have many people think it's just automatic just because jesus died no sir there is a demand for every face and every level of glory The new wine skin is formed when you are willing to subscribe to the terms that make for higher glory. You form the new wine skin by making a decision that Lord, I desire this dimension of your glory 
I desire this dimension of your weightiness, your presence upon my life. Now, please listen. Listen. Somewhere along this conference, we are going to be doing an impartation. But many of us, let me be sincere with you. The reason why so many men of God continue to pray and lay hands on you. And they bless you from their heart. You can go around and say, I met Bishop Oedeko. I met Papa Adeboye. Have you met this? Yes. But nothing in your life reflects the glory. Because there was a repulsion. Their prayer brought the glory, but it met a structure that would not allow it. You see that? You believe that you receive because you fell down. But I am telling you now that your falling down was not your receiving. Look at the strict condition Elisha went through to carry a mantle. I hope you know it was Elijah that was teaching other people. They were the students in the school of the spirit. Yet it was not enough for them to carry. The, the Bible testifies they were in his school. Think how much of an angry man Elisha was. I won't be surprised that Elijah slapped Elisha once. That kind of temper that caused fire. Will you want to work with such a person? Once upon a time, Elijah was the new wine skin. And the wine skin kept looking for a replacement. All over, he looked at the entire prophets and none of them had the formation. None, not once. And there was a man who kept stretching himself went beyond Gilgal went all through and while that was happening Elijah was watching Elijah continued to frustrate him intentionally and that guy would not be offended look at all the attributes that were preparing him for that mantle then when they crossed beyond Jordan Elijah looks at him and says you are really desperate i i see the formation you are looking like me now the the kind of alignment i i remember this and i know that you are about to receive something and he says what do you want then the man said sir with all due respect i know where you stopped i went more than that i can take twice you could not take twice your own anointing where you stopped i respect it but my i stretch myself beyond the capacity of that level of grace and he said one more test young man the last test was the test of sight the test of sight not just the test of physical endurance all right you have qualified but one last test if it is true that you stretch the way you claim something should have happened to your eyes and so let me see if you really pass the test because anyone who stretches enough for a double portion something should have happened to his eyes it is impossible to say you have stretched like that and your eyes is still blind therefore my dear son if you can see me as i rise and he looked and suddenly the eyes he said i see you oh my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof listen the anointing came without confusion and he went to jordan he said where is the lord god of elijah he parted it and it parted hither and thither and the moment that happened the prophet saw him and they said the spirit of elijah doth rest on elijah they were so ignorant they didn't even know it was two times it was a double portion graces don't just come anointings don't just come there is a glory that excels. Listen carefully. Prosperity does not just come. Liftings don't just come. I tell you the reason why the move of God and the treasures of this kingdom never stay on people. It will come for a while and then our lack of structure will fight it and it will go. So you find out that churches experience certain moves of the spirit for three weeks, strange signs and wonders, angelic encounters, and then it leaves. They never experience it again. Could this be why sometimes when prophecy comes, the results happen slowly and then it leaves? Because you received the prophecy, it came from heaven, but the spiritual formation that will allow, it says, now arise, oh God, from where you are. We have prepared a structure that will make you feel comfortable, whether you are in heaven or you are in Solomon's temple. 
now arise O Lord it says come to your resting place this is even how demons work they don't just enter anybody they search for a formation that looks like where they are coming from or better than it so when a demon look at a man he knows you are not aligned enough for manipulation so it will continue to create systems around your life that tilt you to be aligned enough then it can come was it not in your bible that when a demon leaves a man when it is returning it doesn't return alone it doesn't just return double portion it gathers seven of its kind and comes For many years I wanted to know the mystery behind the very heavy investment of God's presence in others as against others and I gauged it by many parameters and I found out it didn't match I gauged it by many spiritual parameters until I found out that this was the secret now arise O Lord come to your resting place that means consistently from heaven mantles and graces and new levels are searching they continue to move around every service looking for new wine skins and they may not find wine skins here is the answer to why men can be in church for many years and someone will just come and receive the person came with hunger he had stretched himself someone else is standing amen 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 and nothing is happening let me tell you my brothers and my sisters i will show you what to do to the wine skin and then you will see the kind of glory and power that will come upon your life my life changed and the grace of God upon my life took another dimension all of these dimensions you see me walking in they were never there I prayed and said Lord what is the secret thank God for impartation but I knew that mm -mm, impartation is the last step to this thing there is a way why did Elijah have to go through this laborious journey with Elijah why There is a huge price for the glory that excels. You want to speak and let things just happen? You want God to touch the hearts of men? No. This thing is not acting, my brothers and my sisters. It is not even just about praying 10 hours. It is not even just about fasting dry fast. There is something that must happen from within. Now arise, O oh Lord, come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might, and then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness, celebrate. I remember some years ago one night I, I will never forget that night I was watching William Branham and tears filled my eyes that night I was so tired I was sleepy but I was watching him and you know the whole documentary on him and I said why do people insult this man you know they make it look like he backslided he left God just because he missed some things here and there there are graces that when you carry I will show you there is you have to ask God to help you stand the heaviness of that grace even you God will have to support you otherwise you will not stand I had a vision I will share with you some visions that I've never shared here during this conference let me finish the William Branham story we're going to pray I remember that night I was looking at this man and for the first time a sense of honor and compassion i said this is an amazing servant of god the humility that came from that man's life versus all the nonsense that ignorant people kept saying i said look at this look at this man of god look at the grace that comes out of this man and something strange happened to me it was like light from my laptop something cold just rested on my head gradually 
I didn't used to walk in the prophetic here and there, maybe word of knowledge, this and that, here and there. And something cold, gradually, it took more than 30 minutes. It was entering me. The next meeting I went to, it was like a shock. That was when I started seeing angelic presence like lights, like ribbons. And I said, what is this that I'm seeing? Let me tell you, mantles are still looking for men. The problem is that there are too many old wineskins, structures that refuse to bend, structures that refuse to adjust. One day, I kept praying. I wrote the names of certain fathers of faith that I was praying that God would put upon me the grace that he put upon them and then I had a dream in that dream I was in Canaan land I think then okay they just a few years after they had built uh, let's see no I'm not sure it was more than it wasn't yet up to 10 years since they built the the auditorium there and then I found myself preaching and just like the stage here I was standing you have to just keep your toe just the tip of your toe that's how you stand to preach and the stage was shaking and i couldn't stand well and i said is this how these guys stand to preach that's what i saw in that vision that means all you see is not just standing on stage many people are standing on there are weights there are gracious people carry that the moment you talk about them in the secret that grace was designed because of the weightiness there are extra privileges that come with it you will find out that your heavens will close alone in the secret no demonic assistance just because of the weightiness of it it is true my brothers and my sisters that even among the stars one different from another in glory in glory this that looks small is a deep spiritual secret it's possible to remain at the same level and God sees that you are better off at that level but if it is the glory that excels that you want to receive a dimension of his weightiness you want to add weight to your spiritual life the requirement is not just prayer the requirement is not just Bible study I'm going to show you the requirement turn with me please very quickly to 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 many of you have not been trained to have regard for the glory of god that comes upon men second corinthians chapter 4 from verse 17 please for our light affliction which is but for a moment what is the affliction doing walk it for us stop stop there is a raw material that trains men. The Bible calls it affliction. I know you don't. <laughs> For this hammer that I use, work it in me, this vessel. That affliction is like a hammer that can chisel a man. He may not know what is happening, but there is a, a, a formation happening our light affliction apostle paul is writing that worketh for us a what i told you there is a glory that excels if it is that weight of glory you want there is a dimension of affliction that the bible says it is a tool that is used you don't like the nice message i know <laughs> what do you think makes god to have a covenant with a man not old testament not new testament what do you think empowers that you make a statement and god just honors you reading the bible just praying in the night no sir no sir there are secrets one of them is your volunteering to affliction it was it didn't it say i bear in my he said let no man trouble me 
I carry a glory that excels and here are the scars that show for it let no demon resist me because I carry a glory that excels and here is the star that shows you want to be an envoy of his presence you want to host the glory of God you want to host the power of God let me tell you there are some sacrifices if you make in the kingdom God will not allow you make other kinds again forever it is true it is true sir there are men and women because of the sacrifice they've had with God God will never allow them to learn about money again in this life it will never happen it's an exemption for them because of what there is an accreditation that happened in that place of pain it's true I always wondered why so many people broke certain principles that I knew that made for certain results and then it looks like life will punish everybody and jump them life will punish everybody and jump them and I said why and God said I am just find out they paid an equivalent of that sacrifice already it is true my brothers and my sisters it is true there is a glory that excels but the Bible says for our light affliction which is but for a moment walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory next verse it says while we look not at the things what are the things the afflictions the things that are seen but the things that are unseen it says for the things that are seen are temporal temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal romans chapter 8 from verse 18 for i reckon that the sufferings you know this is paul writing i hope you know it was the same paul that wrote to third of the new testament when paul says i glory in my affliction now you understand what he was saying how do you glory in affliction believers tell me how you glory in affliction that a man is in chains and bonds and he calls it glory I wish what I were telling you were not true was it not because of what Mary was going to carry that all the trouble came upon her life Mary was an innocent virgin for God's sake minding her business and here comes this young carpenter you just ask her out all of a sudden an angel comes and says Mary there is something we are, we are looking for who can carry it we have been searching other women and they refused probably some had the dream and they casted it mm, leave me I want peace in my life and here comes Mary let me tell you if everyone were available the angel will not come it looked like Gabriel had been searching and finally he says let me try this one we bring you salutation of great joy and she wondered what salutation he said this is what will happen to you and then the woman says be it unto me she thought she was saying let me be pregnant no the process that will allow me to carry the word for nine months be it unto me from that day mary got in trouble to the point that joseph was saying madam i don't know what is it that happened between you and this ghost i don't know which rabbi you are calling an angel but i i won't embarrass you but me i'm going what happens when things start going down and it started the day god spoke to you you were minding your business and it looked like you were better off the day a voice came you will be a mighty man of god from that day your life it looks like god what i was minding myself i was living a happy quiet wonderful life then you go to lie down and sleep and you are seeing a generation and you say god please leave my peace I want my plan is to live a nice life ah. this is the price for carrying the burden of a generation King of Kings 
Lord of Lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of Kings, Lord of Lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. I preached a message years ago called the fullness of affliction and several people said all kinds of things against the message and I said oh dear God has an economy God has a non-negotiable system this is the reason why he loves everybody but not everybody carries the same weight of glory my brothers and my sisters the glory of God upon a man is not dependent on his predeterminate counsel is how much you are willing to be stretched until you are reformed like the potter sometimes you will need to smash that clay again and start building you built it before into a vessel and then you will smash it back and that clay is you hallelujah it's a very very huge sacrifice to carry the glory of God the weightiness of his presence most times we admire the results that we see but let me tell you my brothers and my sisters behind the veil what you see there is the blood and the tears that came with lifting this weight it's a heavy weight a far more exceeding weight of glory a far more exceeding weight of glory hallelujah that you speak to a man and his life does not change you go back to God and say Lord why now I spoke and God says no there is a glory level there is there not every part of the mountain delivers the same result it says who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord It's a journey if an aircraft will not keep you at the top of the hill you will walk there were 5,000 men aside women and children who climb up the mountain and they were privy to hear certain things that others did not hear the way to the throne is the cross the way to the throne is the cross you will never get to the throne ignoring the cross the only ladder that you will use to climb the throne of destiny is the cross where God will give you a governmental grace to speak over nations you become Beulah and Hephzibah the desire of nations notice in the parable of the talents do you know the real blessing that happened to them it was not well done good and fit. i used to think he was well done good and faithful servant until one day the spirit of the lord says study it and i found out well done good and faithful servant was a pattern of their back certain portions were up, were given to them territorial influences that was the blessing the labor of doing something with what they were given qualified them for these dimensions at every level at every level please listen to me carefully at every level there is a demand there is a level of sacrifice there is a level of real sacrifice that makes for certain glories but Paul said compared to the glory that that level delivers the sacrifice can be called a light affliction second Corinthians chapter 3 we are going to pray from verse 9 and 10 it says for if the ministration of condemnation talking about the law now carried some glory in it he said much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory next verse 
it says for even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excels that there is a level you can walk with God my brothers and my sisters and through this sacrifice of remolding yourself to become a new wine skin that God will put a dimension of his glory that when you look back what you used to call glory that it is not glory in this respect a level of signs and wonders a level of the performance of God's word a level of increase and grace a level of prosperity the wealth of the kingdom a level of spiritual illumination it comes by that track record of pain and sacrifice sacrifice the weightiness of God's glory finding vessels that can fit it the weightiness of God's power finding vessels that can receive it the weightiness of the spirit of revelation finding men there are times that it comes close and you fall it you can't even host it first and then it goes back waiting for you to truly become that vessel it says but we all like living stones we are being chiseled and built into a spiritual house a house that can host god There are many things in my life today I would have prayed for for so long to come. But sometimes just a desire in my heart is enough to bring it. The secret is that when you contend for the glory that excels. Please hear me if you're a man of God here, hear me twice. What we call ministry now, in the next five years, many people will be frustrated. Because there are people pressing into these dimensions genuinely. There are people that desire tangibility substance of the spirit they are the ones who will become the desire of nations and many others will pale and fade in glory this is not backsliding this is that God has begun something it's a new order and like John the Baptist and like the scribes you may scrounge around for relevance but the light now is on Jesus the question therefore is are you willing to subscribe to the demands demands of lifestyle demands of covenant listen it will cost you everything the price for all of God is all of you let me say it again the price for all of God is all of you write it media let the word lend this the price for God's head is not all of you the price for God's hand is not all of you. The price for God's heart and all of him is all of you. That's why we can see certain dimensions. You just want the wisdom of God or some dimensions of his creativity, but not all of him. If you want to host God, then all of you must be beaten like the potter with the clay. It's not a gospel that many people like. Nobody likes suffering nobody likes affliction we were not designed that way that's why it's a sacrifice there is a glory that excels but it will come upon vessels that have been worked on changed it says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then it says we all with unveiled face beholding him as in a glass we are changed you know it looks like once you are just looking you are being changed ask elijah it was not just looking like it was saying there is a dynamics of death that works in you so that life will work in other people let me tell you this 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 thing i'm teaching you is a is a master mystery even in the occult and those who practice all of these things they are the level of glory in quote if i will use that word is corresponding to their, the level of tremendous sacrifice i remember reading a book about a, a somebody who would receive some kind of strange power and the condition was to fast non-stop for 150 days if you miss one day you start afresh you don't continue
you fast to a point that you don't know whether you have eaten or not there is your body has lost the ability to tell you whether you are full or you are hungry so god will want to take you to certain realms and god will now say oh pastor alpha because of what i'm about to do for the next five months i will need every 12 to 3 a.m of your time not three to five regardless of what the event is the demand is 12 o'clock to three the next six months think about it if you are interested let me know you will be free from 9 to 11 that's not the timing god gave you you will even be free from 40 forever you will find out that you will be so tired by 11 45 you don't know if you are standing or sitting but you remember that our light affliction you may look stupid see it's difficult to do these things when you have people that love you they will pity you too much to allow you continue the pain of what you go through it will attract their sympathy that's why abraham told the servants wait here i have to go alone with my sacrifice if those servants were on the mountain they will fight abraham and bring isaac down There are certain things when God wants to do in your life, you will, you will have to agree with him that you will be alone in this so that he can do with you what he wants. Because the innocence and the humanity of men sometimes will interrupt the process. If you're married and you see your husband eating once a week and acting like a strange man, one day you will be tired, you will close the door and sit down there and start crying. And whether he's, he's serious with God or not, the compassion that comes from that union will make him say, God, whatever it is, please, let me just, let me just, let me just subscribe to the demands of my wife. What do you think made John the greatest prophet? Have you studied John's life? How much of his life was in public view? look at how john was born from that time at least for jesus we saw what happened the first 12 years what happened to the next 18 years of jesus is something you should find out because the bible does not tell us any other thing again about jesus from age 12 until 30 we see a man coming what happened for those 18 years what happened to the 19 years of paul in the wilderness of arabia what happened to the 40 years of moses at the back side of the mountain let me show you that this is consistent with men who carry glory it is not new it didn't start now are we together john the baptist the bible just shows us that there is an adult in the wilderness who was given a, a what i would call a wicked prescription there was meat those days there was fish those days there was wine those days but he dressed in camel skin and then he was in the wilderness and the only food that he was allowed to eat was locusts and wild honey was he not the prophet that was told to sleep on one side for one year i don't know if you don't read your bibles did you read about the prophet who ate animal dung for one year? <laughs> I tell you why our generation is powerless. We are noisy people, but there's no power. This is it. We hate the sacrificial dimension that brings the glory. Let him that glory and glory in this, that he knoweth me he understands my way and because of his subscribing to my patterns he can carry a glory that is greater than the glory of the wise greater than the glory of the strong greater than the glory of the rich there are men let me tell you i believe that there are people who will open up their hearts and say lord i am willing let's go this journey i am willing I am willing you know most times we sing songs of surrender we just sing them as special numbers i want you now to think because god answers those prayers use me oh god i'm available and god says i'm listening keep talking 
do with me anything you want to do have you had that kind of prayer god says thank you this is all i've been asking you he said dangerous prayer to say do with me what you want it's even dangerous to sing it do with me what you want do with me what you want you study the scapegoat that was taken malhandled and taken everywhere he was led like a sheep to the slaughter do with me what you want lord my life is yours do with me what you want and god says okay i look at you and i need to chisel here and here can i go on and you say lord i've said do with me what you want the first hammer touching you you say god is this it no i changed my mind is it by force i'm already born again god says it's not by force but then the glory you seek do not be angry when you see it on another person so many men of god can be here but there is glory that excels corresponding to the spiritual sacrifices let me tell you this is a non-negotiable condition there are cups you don't pray to pass you you obtain the grace to drink them he said grant that you know when you have conquered caesar etc etc let me sit at your left and right the mother of james and john was asking jesus didn't say there is no vacancy he said you want to sit close to me here is the condition one can you drink of my cup internal and can you be baptized with my baptism the woman didn't answer it for the children john would later answer it and he paid for it he really did he was at the isle of patmos but that guy had so pressed into these things that hot oil had no effect on him and peronero said what do we do with this guy now we have tried to roast him in oil it didn't work and they banished him to an isle called patmos these are the men the bible says the earth is not worthy of there is a reason why the earth is not worthy they walked sometimes like fugitives and vagabonds looking for a city whose builder and maker is the lord they so pressed into these things for some of them life made no sense again take all of me all of me lord you have my everything use all of me all of me lord you have anoint my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything say take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord I thought Jesus being the son of God Jakes should should exempt him from this pattern why will the son of God be in the wilderness talk to me believers the son of God left heaven born of the spirit he didn't change the pattern as soon as Jesus came out of the water it was not a demon that drove him there are many times what drives you to that wilderness is not always satan the spirit didn't speak he drove him to the wilderness notice that every time these men were in these places they were alone it's not a corporate thing it's not a husband and wife thing it's not a classmate it's not a roommate thing it is you and god and your destiny This is the price it takes to be trusted with the keys of a generation. This is the price it takes to become the face of God to a generation. It's not by voting. It's not by popularity census. It's not by likes and shares. It's a testament of a sacrifice in the spirit. Known by both God and demons. believers 
either we are just playing games and we truly do not desire to be the carriers of this glory or someone here will be willing to pray listen let me tell you you would think the sacrifice to host God's glory is hard until you see the alternative the alternative is a miserable life of guessing left right and center with your destiny shattered and you are you are a victim of just anything Jesus paid the price once and he was ready by this time many years ago Jesus was in hell hellfire Jesus hellfire Jesus Hades the place of the dead and the father was watching and all these demons were upon their own creator the word of God that proceeded ah but though weeping endures for a night one thing I know is that affliction does not remain forever it has an expiry date when the legal claims of justice were made Paul reveals to us by the spirit that Jesus made a public show of them triumphing over them and one of the things he got in hell so there can be keys in hell and you will need to go down to hell to get some keys sometimes you will need to go down to come up with keys Jesus descended before he ascended so you will rise up by going down are we together now and he collected the keys and in revelations he said I am he that was dead but now I am alive and I hold the keys the coronation service only happened when he went through this We are going to pray tonight there is a glory that excels I bring you a very powerful mystery the glory that excels Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech thee brethren who is he talking to brethren not unbelievers I beseech thee brethren by the mercies of God that you do what offer offer your bodies as a not a sacrifice a living sacrifice let me tell you what that means a sacrifice that remains a sacrifice when a sacrifice dies it stops being a sacrifice it's over the real sacrifice was the life of that object so when the life goes there's no more sacrifice it is the process of extracting life from that thing that is the sacrifice now he says you are a sacrifice you are alive but it's a posture you will continue to take holy and acceptable unto God and he says it's your reasonable act of worship I have found this key from the day I found this key I stopped being afraid of pain I stopped being afraid of sacrifice I became friends with it and I found out that in that darkness that's where light comes from God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness not into darkness out of darkness darkness is the mother that gives birth to light and the evening came and the morning and the evening came and the morning let me encourage you listen to me listen to me very carefully be careful so that you don't judge things from the standpoint of men there are certain things that you may be passing through that you may think these things are happening just because of unbelief I told you that faith doesn't always receive it also takes faith to release you lose things too by faith by faith Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice there were women who their children died and instead of them to raise them back they said no problem let them go and the Bible calls it faith read it it's not everybody who brought their child back to life that were called men of faith others died
do you know why plants grow because they subscribe to this same principle death and glory when you carry a seed and throw it on the earth what happens you studied agri what happens the life is in the death takes you come back after two days if you open it you will see that there is no more beauty there is no beauty in the grave there is no comeliness there is only the death that brings resurrection and notice what happens the first thing that happens is some process of decay and even degradation and then out of the rottenness it begins to open it's deshaping as bad as it is it's making room for something new and sometimes it can be so bad that part of the old one will come out too with a new one and you can look at it and know this is the dead seed and this is the one that grows I wish I can tell you the glory of God comes just by speaking and saying receive grace there are you want to be given the keys of a nation my brother and my sister there is a track record there is a scar there is a testament of death that must happen I presume we're going to pray tonight because it looks like we're in a funeral service you know what you do in a funeral service you dig the ground and you carry the dead body and throw it in but when you throw the body in the funeral service you don't expect it to come out but what we're engaging tonight is a mystery that when you are thrown in the grave then you are ready to come out after a few days of silence suddenly suddenly you begin to shoot against gravity with another life and that small tiny seed will now become a tree that birds will come and nest they will be grateful that you paid the price every food you eat today is because a seed volunteered to die listen to me carefully if seeds stop dying you stop rising too the reason why we continue to live is because there are seeds that are dying they died last year the moment rain starts falling isn't it amazing that when rain starts falling that's the right time for the seed to die seeds die during rain rain that should give life but that's when seeds die and then life comes from it we're going to pray in the next 10 minutes it's going to be a general prayer before i lead you find whatever corner outside this is you and god just play worship for us and you're going to say lord the death that must turn me into a new wineskin let it happen to me tonight the death that must happen oh god for the glory that this generation is waiting for don't be afraid the sacrifice Lord you are calling me to be a prophet to the nations but there is a level of death please pray this is between you and God let hope rise Darkness trembles in your holy love Let hope, let it rise Darkness trembles in your holy light Pray. 
pray. Sila barakata jina na malana matuli anara. Era ba she na na ma she na 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 na. Era na 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 na. Lira sabaru jalis kamanda brati galas sobras kadi alhasa. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. But whoever loses it for my sake will gain it. We gain things in this kingdom by losing them. Halabaranda zana kaparuza seketazi ana kaparuza sia. Ina balana ba, ina na na na, ina na na na, ina na na na. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Are there people praying tonight? Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Walk through me, yeah. live through me. Shena matala namasya. Oh, come with the refiner's fire. 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 As the deer pants after the water brook, find a generation, my king. Find a generation that desires you more than life, more than wisdom, more than money, more than power. Find for yourself a bride adorned in her beauty. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Turn me, O oh God, to the wine skin that will host your power in this generation. Turn me, O oh God, to the wine skin that will host the end time anointing for miracles, for wealth, for signs, for wonders. Yeah. 
Three more minutes. But in a great house, there are vessels of gold and of silver, of wood and of clay. Some are unto honor, and others are unto dishonor. belongs to you hey oh me na na kanye yeshua hamashiga yeshua hamashiga yeshua hamashiga Yeshua Yeshua You see, my brothers and my sisters one of the assignments of fire 
the primary purpose of fire was not just for demons it was for the saints it is the fire of the holy spirit it's not just holy ghost fire demons the fire not only refines not only purifies it can melt completely and then remold again it is not every time the fire comes to just purify sometimes that whole vessel needs to melt down for something new to come it is not every time god comes to adjust the old sometimes he comes to immerse you into his fire then remold you as something that has never been before yeshua hamashia komina nakane yeshua I like you tonight to pray Lord whatever took your place in my life please return to your resting place is someone praying tonight I don't know how it got there but in this season arise majesty return to your resting place hey, hey, hey. Arise, my God, return to your place of rest. Yeshua, Hamashia, Omina, Nakane, Yeshua, Hamashia. For some of us, is friends, some of us, is the obsession to succeed some of us is the obsession to be in ministry whatever has taken its place please dethrone it this night dethrone it this night for some of us is money that took its place reputation ego revelation the quest for the anointing in this season let me tell you the new wine of the spirit is moving from nation to nation from continent to continent finding the vessels that have the space there are all kinds of mantles graces that have not been seen before but they are searching for a new wine skin you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin you cannot put a new prophetic wine in an old prophetic wine skin a new apostolic wine in an old apostolic wine skin a new territorial wine in an old territorial wine skin let us leave the old and press for the new press for the new press for the new pray just one more minute and then we'll pray corporately that's why we came tonight without new wine you cannot have the new songs without new wine you cannot have the new sermons you will keep recycling the old copying from man of god to man of god it will take new wine to understand the rhythm of the spirit Oh, 
Yeshua. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. We have a few more minutes. Just a few minutes and then we'll stop. Acts chapter 26 and verse 22. There are times in your life, listen, where because of the kind of glory that is coming, no matter how you release yourself, you will still not have the capacity. You will need to cry for an assistance from heaven. He says, having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day. The reason I'm still standing from glory to glory, I saturated my effort at a point, but having obtained help from God, I continue to this day. Having obtained help from God in the apostolic ministry, in the prophetic ministry, in the pursuits to bring the wealth of the kingdom to the saints, in the pursuit to doing this and that, whatever it is, there are times when you stretch yourself to the limit and it still cannot make for the size of the glory you will need to turn to the helper of zion it says heaven therefore obtain the help of god i continue it takes the help of god to keep going there are times you will reach your elastic limit you will stretch and break to pieces you will still not meet god's standard if someone ready to cry for help from heaven lord assist me assist me let 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 the divine help the alignment it will take to command the wealth of the kingdom in this season lord assist me there is only so much i can do the alignment that will be required to carry the apostolic and the prophetic grace i cry for help having obtained help from God I continue God is the helper of men God can help you he can help you rise he can help you stand he can help you reign he can help you conquer he has not stopped being the helper the Holy Spirit is called the helper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please pair yourselves in twos if you can. Just hold someone those under the anointing or just alone just leave them but hold your hands you are going to cry to heaven agreeing with that person say lord a superior realm of results a new dimension of grace glory that is all encompassing i receive it agree 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 with somebody pray outside pray those online pray this is the season, oh God, of the glory that excels in ministry, in business, the glory that excels. Shakatakata, baka paroko to shekete, ebrekete lekete kete kete, shakato sebaru zapanikata, the glory that excels, the weightiness, the desirability that excels, that I become the desire of nations. I become the desire of kings. Please pray. Shekete kete kete. El braga do la baruta sekete. E koto 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 bash. El braga tu zasiana kata. Rapa pa baruto totosh. El dereke tosh kele bash. Rakata baruto shobregede. Prato sosi dabiash e prakato sese sekata kom baruta sopra gete baladaba e prokoto shekete le barash Alleluia Alleluia 
Psalm 45 verse 12 I believe it is the Lord just put it in my heart this is the level that God is taking us to I hope you remember the teaching I did about Tyre and Sidon the marketplace of the earth where the exchange is made it says and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor there is an investment of the spirit that comes upon your life listen i want to show you how this relates to extraordinary fruitfulness there are realms where you will not beg and search for your sacrifice and your investment will cause nobles to come with what you would have looked for the daughter of tyre will come with a gift the gift you would have been searching for and then the rich among the people not the poor there is a grace because you left looking for the glory of wealth to seek his face he will cause those who have the glory of the wealth to come to entreat your favor listen that means wealth is not favor because there is a favor that even the rich are looking for what is it they are not coming to just look at you there is something money cannot buy the rich will entreat your favor they will come to you and it will be a privilege to give them audience i'd like you to pray and say lord on account of the glory you are putting upon my life even in this season let the daughter of tyre begin to come with her gift and let the kings of these systems come with their treasures to entreat my favor please lift your voice and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding because I have subscribed to the glory that comes from your face not the glory that comes from wealth not the glory that comes from human wisdom not the glory that comes from human might the glory that comes from knowing you let the daughter of Tyre come with her gift let the nobles of the earth begin to entreat my favor pray for koinonia in this season Shabakato Sabaranda Kata. Kings coming to entreat your favor. Hallelujah. The Bible says that a time will come when seven virgins, it was a prophetic statement seven virgins will hold on to one man that spiritual jew they are not holding on to him just because he's handsome there is something that the tribe he comes from carries and seven dimensions that have not been seen come to you and say we want to be part of your life we want to be featured in your destiny such a force of attraction such a force of attraction dimensions that have never been seen they will come and latch on to you father whatever is for me in this season by the grace you are putting on my life it must be attracted to me in this season lift your voice and pray like a believer you are placing an anointing you are placing a grace and a glory you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory you are my glory you are my inheritance hallelujah hallelujah time will fail me 
to share with you the testimonies of the level of ease that your life will step into when you truly carry the glory of God the glory of God is a voice it can speak it can speak to kings that the things you once desired will come to you at a platter because his glory is upon you he says arise shine for your light has come not just that the glory of the lord is risen upon you the glory that excels this is the glory that will humble the arrogance of the kings of the earth if all you look for is money you will be like them if all you look for is human scientific wisdom you will be like them if all you look for is human systems of fortification but press for his face understand his ways and let him invest upon you a glory that excels and you will watch with wonder the way God will draw glory out of your life there are new and strange kinds of anointings that are coming upon the body of Christ there are new and strange dimensions of the workings of the spirit as has never been seen the times and the seasons already signify it and our own is just to say maranatha come lord come with all of these things come come the body of christ is stepping into certain offices certain levels of spiritual possibilities that Micah 4 prophecy of the church ascending we will humble the pride of kings the church is not a nuisance to civilization no God is giving us a voice that cannot be silenced a voice that not the rich will ignore the poor will not ignore politicians will not ignore but our price is to become the new wine skin that can carry that new wine and when the new wine finds a resting place then there is no limit to what you can do let me round up when the feast was about to finish and Jesus turned water to wine the first to taste of that wine were the rulers of the ceremony listen carefully that wine was not designed for the general congregation the wine was a statement and so the attention of the kings they were the first to taste of the wine all other kinds of wines could be taken by everyone but the kings took it and they said where did you get this people bring the best at the beginning but you have saved the last that means the investment that God is giving us is to subdue the gatekeepers of territories not just for things common no the gatekeepers of territories access to the heart of nobles because one 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 madman in Gadara listen one madman in Gadara is equivalent to 10 cities we don't have the time again to go one by one to every city no god will be giving us the madman in gadara and the woman by the well god is will use one person like an arrow from a man's quiver and hit nations with it can be so loud god listen it will numb the voice of the holy spirit listen to me to the point and that hear what i'm saying again God prophetically this and that it will no sleep. longer have be you one seen by one who have been so frustrated. go to this Every there's no time for that again God can do something they just look so he will you. give us a and grace when you're done they say are you done please walk out of one place. grace that can that touch is, a voice from here that will make here all other voices hear him from year this to year that i get territorial I, the first missionary that came it no to longer state, will be people one by one look what i have it's a waste of time that is a misunderstanding he will be taking us of to the madmen at gadara 
for I the will sake not of want the misunderstand me as a person. He will be taking us we to the to women of the well correct any for the sake of all who will come that with been created. All those who have those the voice of system money from people send us in the name of the ministry as most ministries. That is why we need a glory that is higher than what they have. As Joshua said, otherwise they will not hear the word of the Lord. Every time I hear of such kinds of things, it was I don't keep quiet and say, God, do whatever you by know. I, I, and said, Rabbi, I make efforts we to know see that whatever that security that provisions man, not I know. need to be in place not is in I know. place. This is me, a not man, I know. an ordinary man. Meaning that we have been you watching you and we have seen allow him that even not we don't have creation this, keep right we know about that thou art a man sent from God for no man if we cannot do allow the power of God to correct these wrong understandings, our children will come with an understanding of the God that is inaccurate. Have you noticed that the average, I think like it starts from teenagers. Until you see Are teenagers happen. now until you almost see that have God no regard you the for heart God? Of king. Because something about their experience and then you has proven the that God is not faithful. That in one day a nation you can be saved because their know kings are saved. Was it not in one day Nebuchadnezzar signed a decree ministry, and said and everywhere so, across so Babylon, much. let the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that anyone who does not worship that God should be killed. And they don't look and say, Apostles, there are spectacular uh, things that bring you do to men just jump that will change men. I'm available, oh. They I can, don't know about they you. can feel free but my heart is knowing you listen, are too Listen, let me tell you the truth. And I listen, sincerely it's an understanding. The Sometimes they come and they just fly you know, expecting to be held. They are not, they are not, they don't ask you whether you are tired. Long, they don't ask you whether your hand is paining you. They just jump and hope just, you No, 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 no. It's going to be the level of access to territory. And although in our human nature, we still have, imagine how irresponsible a man will be for a lovely child to just jump and then men who will walk falls. like gods upon this is good for you you will know that i don't play with children that you will speak and both your members and your non-members will be forced to hear because of what you hold i'm helping us to this understand is what God before is. i begin to minister please that i like you to be it is sensitive this seven days please listen. don't be casual it is god's desire to where, see you lift up your prayer request of the unfolding of a new move of god answers. it's like a boiling it pot not that is already hell, tilting and it does and god not is doing something life. very prophetic and very Are apostolic we together away with that thinking that when god answers our prayers it will make us leave him no it is when there is already a heart that is not truly inclined to God. You don't need to have results to leave God. When your heart is not positioned on God and your love for him is in doubt, anything can take you away from him. But let me tell you this, my brothers and my sisters, when you love the Lord with all your heart and your heart is pegged at seeing that his kingdom come, there is nothing he will withhold from you. You've heard my story. I've shared with you that the Lord told me, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. It is his will for you to have the supernatural results that you seek. And it's important that we give God room to do these things in the lives of people. If you're a preacher, please listen. It is good to teach people the word. It is good to help people grow. It is good to provide a platform for spiritual enlightenment. But sometimes people don't need knowledge. They need real results. There are times that, listen carefully. There are times that you don't go to meet a patient in an ICU and tell the patient, while you are almost dying, take note of the following. Number one, next time, don't stay around mosquitoes. Number two, and the patient is gasping for breath. There are situations that don't need counseling. There are situations that don't need advice. There are situations that need a head-on collision with the power and the grace of God. There are people sitting right now looking at me smiling but with death sentences. In the name of medical verdicts. That's not the time to start giving people any any advice you give people love the lord in 10 years make sure you are consistent the person says i'm dying right as i'm dying right now 
take me out of that situation and then I can give you my attention to mentor me and build me. Hallelujah. I believe in miracles. I really believe in miracles. I believe in the manifestation of the power of God. I believe that the power of God can be made visible here and now. I believe that God anoints us to provide supernatural solutions. You are here because of the things you have heard God do. You are here because of the lives you saw him change. And let me tell you, your case will not be different tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. But I just want to encourage you so that you don't come hoping, will God bless me? Will God lift me? Is he interested in the joy that my family will have when results come? Is he interested in the new level of anointing I will receive? As a man of God, is he concerned that my church is going down? Is he concerned that everyone I laid hands on was not healed? Is he concerned that I am going down spiritually? The God we serve is a lifter. He does not bring people down who love him and stay true to him. So it's important for you to be ready to wave goodbye to all of the challenges that you've made so much sacrifice to come here to present to God. Don't sit down and hope that, oh God, um, well, let's see what you will do. No, no. Remember, remember, I have taught you, for those of you coming for the first time, listen. The very factor that is responsible for results in the kingdom is the anointing, his divine power. Your faith only connects you to the anointing. It is not your faith as it were that brings you results. Your faith is like a host that connects the tap to the plant that needs refreshing. But it's the power of God. And let me tell you sincerely, where the power of God is lavishly allowed to find expression, then darkness must flee. Then lives must change. Then situations must be transformed. Are we together now? Expect the hand of God. Do you know, it's amazing how that you will see people gathered like this. And you will think just because they are looking at a preacher, they are expectant. Many people are used to God not working in their lives. To the point that they don't expect anything. They may look and say amen and hope that they will get something. There is a level of hunger and desperation. Like Jacob where you tell the Lord, I did not leave the east, the south, the west. I didn't travel out of this nation to come into Nigeria, come into Zaria, just to watch people get healed, get blessed, and share the grace and go back. No. There is a level of insistence. Insistence. Give us Hebrews chapter 11, please, and verse 6. Just a charge and then we'll minister tonight. But without faith, the Bible says, it is impossible to please him. The him there is God. For he that cometh to God, this is a rule, this is a spiritual law, that he that comes to God must believe that he exists. And then number two, that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Do you not know that transporting yourself from the great distance you came from is proof of diligence is proof that you trust god you held that report you held that cancer report you held that this and that report and you continue to believe god our assignment is continue to align in prayer and true sacrifice to say lord continue to multiply your anointing so that the issue that could not be solved in january can be solved in march I've taught you how the anointing works. And let me just teach it very quickly for the sake of those of us who may be encountering this ministry for the first time. I taught you that the anointing works like money. Listen very carefully. That you only can solve spiritual problems or problems that are within the level of the grace you carry. The same way you can have 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira can buy you a few things. It cannot buy you a car. It cannot buy you a house. But it is still money. If you need to buy a house, you need more of the same thing. To the amount that can purchase the house. Every challenge in the realm of the spirit has a level of grace and anointing that can solve it. Just because you are anointed does not mean all problems will bow. 
I gave an example yesterday while I was teaching in Abia and I told them that you can bring someone for instance in a wheelchair and keep the person outside and a man of God can even lay hands on the person and the person may not be healed he will go back sick are we together now you take the same person and keep that person in Benny Hinn's overflow not the main bowl overflow and right there he comes and whilst he's singing the person gets up the difference is not God the difference is the extent of the anointing how God anointed Jesus not that Jesus was anointed the information is not that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed you are a blessing when you stay with God to be anointed to the degree to which most problems that come are under the level of your grace people have come to me and with all humility as soon as they begin to talk i discern what their challenges are and i know that this problem is far far below the level of the grace that i have sometimes i would not even pray i would say go it's done so the the man of god's assignment is that while you are building your expectation while you are paying so much to transport yourself to be here while you are fasting and opening your heart our own assignment is to stay with god to say i've seen your grace before but evil is multiplying there are situations that know there are superior levels of graces that can solve it when someone loses 10 million naira and comes to you and says i'm about to die i don't know whether i'm alive or not but the last time they told me i was dying help me at that point that's not the time to start teaching him and say okay be patient this is you can teach him financial principles but he needs that raven that fed elijah to come to him quick let the raven feed him first when someone tells you my life it's not moving forward all doors are closed and because of that my father is about to leave my mother they have concluded that the divorce will happen in the month of May that's not the time to settle down and start saying oh this and that line upon line precept they are, they are, a, a family is about to be torn apart oh how we need the power of God in this generation we need the power of God more than falling down we need the power of God more than the jargons and the stories that we talk. Let me tell you, in the final analysis, it is his divine power that is the giver. And if that power is not resident within you to the degree that it takes to provide supernatural solutions, then you will continue to see people frustrated. If you're a man of God and you came here, listen to me. You are not a blessing when you are not anointed. Let me repeat myself. You are not a blessing when you are not anointed. You may be a good person. You may be a sincere person. It takes more than sincerity to be a blessing. The Messianic prophecy, Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. Isaiah chapter 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me and then he says because the lord hath anointed me the lord had done what please talk to me koinonia the lord hath anointed me so the factor there is the anointing and then it begins to list all the possibilities that can now happen on account of the anointing it takes the anointing to preach glad tidings to the meek it takes the anointing to bind up the brokenhearted. It takes the anointing to proclaim liberty. It doesn't take a mouth to proclaim liberty. It takes the anointing. You can have the mouth and say, be free. But it takes the anointing to proclaim liberty to the captives. It takes the anointing to open up prison doors. Next verse. It takes the anointing to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And then the year of vengeance of our God. Look up please. It takes the anointing to comfort all those who mourn. Verse 3. To appoint to them that mourn in Zion. So even in Zion there are those who mourn. It didn't say to appoint to them that mourn outside Zion. They are in Zion, yet they are mourning. 
to give them beauty. Look at what the anointing can do. Hi. The anointing, please listen, listen, families, listen. The anointing can give a man beauty. 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 For ashes. Many families know what ashes looks like. When a family has 10 people and no one is employed, when a family has 10 people and the highest earner in that family earns 2,000 per month, ashes. But the Bible says by the anointing you can give men beauty. Beauty. You came for koinonia with ashes and God says keep your ashes here. Take beauty. As you are sharing the grace, you are walking out with it. And then you continue to see your life. You know you have carried beauty by the results that follow. It says, until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. Then it says, the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine. And then the fruitful vine counted for a forest. Beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And then it says that they might be called the trees or oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. God is still beautifying the lives of people. My brothers and my sisters, don't get used to your situation. I know you've trusted God in spite of it. But God wants you to now continue trusting him without it. It's, it's honorable and it is noble to trust God in spite of it. But what if he takes the pain away? What if he takes the situation away? What if he takes the predicament away? It takes a wicked man of God to watch what is going on in this country. And to watch what is going on in the times that we live in. And act as if nothing is happening to people. There are real problems. Poverty is a real problem. Young people now have high blood pressure because after spending 10 years for a four-year course and graduating with a 2-1, you are roaming around the streets like an arm robber with your certificate that seems to have no value. Look at the, you know, we, we've, we've been talking about, I don't know if it's happening only in Zaria. But we've been talking about the increased rate of suicide, especially among young people. When you sit down and try everything and it does not work, you just tell yourself, I'm better off dead. And you at least, my money cannot rent a house, but it can buy a rope. What can it buy? A rope. And the spirit of death will help you to buy a rope. And you find a tree and hang yourself. And you who should have been a blessing to a family has now died. And then people come to church with that kind of pain. And a man of God says, don't worry. It's not all about your needs. It's about Jesus. I agree. It's about Jesus. But man was not designed to bend that law indefinitely. There has to be an opportunity given. When the spirit of the Lord will step into the lives of people, I will never, never watch people go through things that the power of God can change and act as if nothing can be done about it. No, sir. Whoever told you that the power of God cannot do anything about the demons that oppress families? Whoever told you that the yokes of darkness can remain unhindered? I know you have prayed. I know you have fasted, but I've told you why it did not happen. It takes a level of grace. Whoever told you favor has stopped working. Don't generalize pain. There are men who have found Goshen, a place of safety. There are men who have found Bethel. There are men whose lives are like Beulah and Hephzibah. The planting of the Lord. When God plants a garden, will it not grow? He says the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. This is the place of encounter. I want you to know that this is a place where God increases your convictions. This is the place 
of surrender to, to me what you want this is the place where your life will change do to me what you want listen when the Lord turn again the captivity of your family when the Lord turn again the captivity of your destiny he says we were like them that dream how beautiful is it to see the other side of pain how beautiful is it to see the other side of a man's trusting God? How beautiful it is to see a man trusting God for grace. Lord, I know you still anoint men, but where is the anointing? When you see the other side of that man. How beautiful it is to see a wilderness turn into a fruitful vine and turn into a forest. I believe in miracles. I believe in the hand of God. I believe the supernatural can invade the world of men and correct and adjust things. I believe in 24 hours God can change a man's life. Listen, I believe in the law of process, but I believe in speed too. I believe God still lifts men. I believe God still uses men to make statements in a territory. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And God says, come, let me use you. Let me show men that I am still God, the lifter of men. I believe this. I believe that God is a healer. I believe he's a deliverer. I believe when men lose things, they can get it back. Yes, sir. Including time. Including time. I believe that when men lose things, they can get it back. I believe God can anoint ordinary men. Men who are just available. But the level of grace is not there. But I know there is a place a man can come to where you encounter the power of God. Everywhere is not the same. No. No. God is everywhere, but he does not manifest his power everywhere. I believe in the power of God. I was sent not only to reveal his face, but to reveal his power. To let men know that he's still alive. To correct misunderstandings about God. Please listen to me. I want to charge your faith before we pray. I believe that challenges can end. I believe that problems can end. Did you hear what I said? I believe a man can sit down and search left and right and only see the goodness of God. I believe it. I believe it. I believe prosperity is real. I don't believe prosperity destroys a Christian. I believe in the blessing of the Lord. I believe in what it can do to your family. I believe in what it can do to your children. I believe in what it can do to your health. I know poverty causes sickness. I know it causes worry. Nobody will preach into embracing nonsense. No. I believe a man can prosper even as his soul prospers. I believe in speed. I believe God can compress what should happen in five years in one month. I truly believe it. I truly believe it. I believe God can restore time. When a woman has been barren for seven years, if she gives birth to one baby, we thank God, but it's not a statement enough. When she gives birth to triplets, God took nine years of space in three, three years and compressed it in one year. Now, that's victory over time. The hardiness of the hearts of men 
will require some dimensions of results to break their pride to honor God. Please listen, let me tell you. We are not going to use stories and noise to get people to Jesus. Wealth is a weapon. The anointing is a weapon. Favor is a weapon. Mercy is a weapon. Wisdom is a weapon. What are you fighting with? Desire, you will not win. It takes you being equipped with the spiritual arsenals that have been made for the victory of the saints in light. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. I believe a man can weary the devil to a point where he will let you go. I believe you can live in a territory and create your own climate financially, spiritually. I believe it. Listen, out of everything I'm saying, throw away the ones you don't believe and open your heart to the ones you believe. I believe a believer can serve God better in an atmosphere of comfort. When your children's school fees are paid, you will serve God better. Don't let religion come with the pride of men and pretend that it does not matter. Yes, I know that none of these things should affect our love for God. But let me tell you the truth. There is a level of pain you continue to have that can harden your heart towards God. It takes time to know God. It takes time to serve God. And that's the time the devil does not want to give you. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around chasing money. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around lobbying a way to, li to be lifted. Vain is the help of man. People of God, please hear me. God did not gather us tonight to waste our time. He gathered us tonight to make real the things in our lives that pertain unto life and godliness. Can I tell you this? Whether you believe in what I said or not, it does not change the truth. The truth was buried. It took only three days. It came out. So whether you believe in the truthfulness of what is said or not, you embrace poverty and see what it does to your life and your family. Embrace mediocrity and see what it does. Embrace sickness and see how much you will spend per week. Your entire resources, when you are finally broke, then the person will die. Is that sickness? Why will it ten, take 10 years to build one house? Is that a testimony? A prostitute will sleep with a man overnight and wake up by the next day with estates and houses and everything. Let's be careful the things we say about God because many of them are not true. Please hear me, especially for our precious visitors. Don't magnify your challenges and come hoping God will change your life. We are talking God here, not a doctor, not a consultant, not an architect, not a monarch, the God of the universe. You may not be sick in your body, but who told you he cannot change your life? Do you not know he's called the father of spirits? That God can speak to a man while you are here and compel him to bless you. That God can give you a dimension of grace that you didn't enter this building with. And you turn back and on Sunday, you climb your pulpit as usual. And suddenly, fire. A new dimension of grace. Do you believe in what I'm sharing? If you being evil, know how to give good gifts. Let me tell you, you can hold on to the hands of God. And say, it was never about your hands. It was about your heart. But tonight... I need your hands too, in addition to your heart, stepping over my life.
Step in. Please don't give up on God. Wake up. Don't give up on God. Don't come here hoping. I've waited, waited. The God of heaven can compress time. If you don't believe all this, there's no point being here tonight. Because we are going to pray. And you must insist that tonight is not the night when I will clap for anybody. I came to mean business with my destiny. Listen. When we begin to pray, I'd like you to insist that anything that does not bring glory to God in your life must leave this night. No matter what it is. Some of you may need to rewrite your prayer request again. Because of your pain, you've stopped writing some things. You just concluded that God, this one, just, just leave this issue. No. When it was time to resurrect Lazarus, he said, roll away the stone. Roll away the stone. Prove that you believe in resurrection by rolling away the stone. Two things men did. They rolled away the stone and they lose the man. What if they lose Lazarus and they found out he was not alive or he just fell and collapsed? Your destiny must open up tonight. It's not a blessing for people to doubt. The Bible says to be diligent in these things, to prove your calling and election, to make it sure. There are things that must be in your life to validate your call and your election. If you're a man of God here, trust God for grace, for God's sake. Just go and stand before people and just open a scripture and speak and close it and say, let's pray. No. That's what the scribes did all the time. But Jesus came and opened and read the messianic prophecy. And he said, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes. They thought they would share the grace. He closed it and he told the guy with the withered hand. He said, stretch your hands. These things I write to you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Not teach alone. Do and teach. Can we pray? Please find a serious neighbor. And I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart. The gift is only given to them that ask. God cannot assume you desire it. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry to the God of heaven. Outside, pray. Those following online, pray. Lord, visit me. Lord, visit me. Appear to me by your word as it were in Shiloh. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your business. Pray over your career. Pray over your destiny. Lord, I came that the gates be open tonight. Pray. Pray. That devil must leave my destiny today. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Pray, pray, don't look around. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Place something upon my life, oh God. Place something upon my destiny, upon my business upon my church
Alléluia. Alléluia. One more prayer point. And the Lord will set this place on fire. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Read with me please if you are a believer. One, two, read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Lord, do to me as you have spoken. You said many things about my life. Do it. I've heard you, but I need to see it. I've heard you, but I need to see it. Do to me as you have spoken. You said I am the head and not the tail. Do to me. You said with favor, shall you encompass me as a shield. Do to me. You said you will restore the years the canker worm has eaten. Do to me, O oh God. Pray, do to me, O oh God. Visit my family. You said you will wipe away every tears. You called 2019 my year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Do to me as you have spoken. do to me oh God you said I will have my child in 2019 do to me as you have spoken look up I want you to receive every grace that the Lord is going to be releasing in this place because you see let me tell you every grace supplied to you is the strength to survive the squallow of any season and if you do not obtain the requisite level of grace for any season you will find out that your life will remain barren and unfruitful. Truly, I came, I came with all my heart tonight. I, I don't want it to be 
a miracle service that we just play around casually please believe for something to come upon your life believe for a grace to come on your life see this thing about anointing if it's not there it's not there period very simple hallelujah praise the lord i want to pray i'll stand tonight praying on the grace for speed hold on hold on please listen there is a reason why i continue to say this many destinies are too slow to glorify god are we together now when the devil cannot keep you at a standstill then your progress will be so slow it is said i must walk the walks of him while it is day that means i need to gain time it says for the night cometh when no man will walk again let me tell you my brothers and sisters there is a real grace for speed if you have not seen it is because it's not on your life there is a real grace for speed that vetoes the sentiments of men so i want to pray i want to start from there and then we just allow the lord to take us be conscious of what comes upon you be conscious of what comes upon you that's how god answers prayers he answers prayers by putting something on your life that will compel creation to begin to act in a way and a manner that will change your life are we together please lift your hands and let me pray I believe in the grace for speed. I have seen a measure of that grace. And I know it is true. That God can shift a man. I'm going to pray and release this grace. And inside and outside. That anointing. And the anointing works. Let me just tell you. The anointing works. You will see people begin to run. It's, it's not anything superstitious. It is just the character and the operation of that anointing. We need it. The Lord put it in my heart. We need it for our businesses, ministries, and so on and so forth. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Right now, inside and outside, I stand by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I declare right now, at the count of three, let this grace for speed, that you have provided even for this season let it rest on people now i release that grace take that grace now please bring them out take that grace now inside outside everywhere i activate the operation of this grace i shift your life in the name of jesus to strength dimensions in the spirit receive the grace for speed receive the grace for parousia receive that grace for speed in the name of jesus and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab to Israel. i command speed 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 bring them out speed Keleba. help that woman please my god I'm still praying in the name of Jesus it says ye have encompassed this mountain for too long turn ye not what I prophesy again like 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 fire from heaven let that grace for speed mantle a family now not just an individual let it come upon families families receive speed i shift you i shift you in the spirit new level speed speed bring them out speed you will never be the same 
never be the same i'm not praying for individuals now i'm praying for families any family stagnated here i stand by the power of the holy ghost and i prophesy speed inside and outside i release speed right now now the lord is that spirit he says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing chains on people's legs chains and the lord is saying the lord is bringing deliverance now i'm seeing chains if you are under this category as i'm praying now the fire of god i'm seeing fire moving but not on people's heads on people's feet i decree and declare is it not written that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty at the count of three anyone whose destiny has been pegged by these chains i declare be free now be free now let the power of god come upon you be free now by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now I want to pray God I'm telling you I'm seeing this is I'm still seeing it chains you see let me tell you this look up look up the Bible tells us that there are many things that should happen where the Spirit of the Lord is one of it is Liberty do you know what Liberty is It's a separation between you and the obstacle that mocks God in your life there is such a thing in the dealings of God with men has given men liberty i want to pray there will be a mighty deliverance right now many of you this is what has plagued your life if it is true that victory was wrought on the cross then it's time to establish it now please listen to me just follow with the instructions be childlike in your heart and let god give you a testimony are we together now He said, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears, sowed weed among the, I mean, among the, 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 the wheat. And he, we are going to destroy everything. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. I'm going to pray and at the count of three, I will ask you to shout that name. Bye. I don't know what kind of bondage I'm seeing this night but except God is not God you must be free right now in the name that is above all names I pray for individuals and families alike it is true that there are yokes and ordinances of darkness that have held men bound but in the name of Jesus everywhere here overflow one two three outside as you shout that name that is above all names i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of god in your life and family must jump out of your destiny at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command forces and your go now go now Release destiny. Release destiny. Ela barakatos shepekeretos. Eli abratos keperekatos. Every ordinance that is not the planting of God, let it go now. Let it go now. I'm speaking by what I'm seeing in the spirit. Let it go now. I'm seeing a vision of a man with a handkerchief wiping the tears of a woman 
and I know that this is, is symbolic because the woman stands for the bride, the church. And I'm seeing the Bible says he will wipe away every tear. I don't know what family and what person came here crying. But the Bible says to comfort they that mourn. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let an anointing come upon your life now. That terminates everything that brings tears. That terminates everything that brings tears. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Young lady, please shift this one. You, lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh eh. Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah oh yeah Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah Yahweh Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say My friend lift your hands this yes you the Lord is granting you the spirit of revelation I saw something come upon your eyes and the Lord is saying he's taking you to dimensions of revelation let her go now now release her family now in the name of Jesus please listen I, I know that we don't have time, but please, I want you to, every time the Lord shows me this, then I know that he wants me to move around. I begin to see lights, a similitude of angels by my left and right. And it's, it's, a, very, it's a very mysterious way that God moves to touch people. When this begins to happen, all I need to do is you don't have to touch me, just move around your road. Listen to me, except God is not God. As he has anointed, as I pass your row, if there is anything that is not of God, it must let you go. Are we together now? So please, you pray. The moment we do that, then we'll begin to minister to the sick. These things are signs and wonders. They are supernatural. They are supernatural even by the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Please... I just want you to believe by faith just believe by faith and then as I pass the Lord is going to touch you it will be the end of it's not something you can do anything about you are under the influence of the anointing are we together now thank you Jesus that everything that is not of God must give way in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be liberty now liberty now in the name of jesus madam be free i take it out of your life now the hand of god is upon you in the name of jesus christ receive the lord is touching you i'm seeing god taking something out of someone's stomach here is going now now i release it now be free now be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now i'm seeing fire rising from this road just from i don't know who it is but fire is coming on someone from this road Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Shh. 
Shala Baruka Tabarikete. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Something is leaving you. I'm standing here. There is the power of the Holy Spirit is setting someone free here within this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus. Help that woman, please. She's holding a baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands here. Everything that must leave anyone, I declare it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, all of you here, just lift your hands. Right now, I stretch my hands. Now, something is coming on people right here. Be free now. 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 Now! Keep praying, lift your voice. Overflow one, keep praying. Something is about to change in your life now. Please, you don't have to touch me. And I want you to help everybody close to you. As I pass, the anointing of the Spirit is touching everything that needs to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. 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 That anointing is touching you right now. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. I take it out of you right now. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Right here where I'm standing. Right here where I'm standing. The Lord is taking something out of your life. Be free. I'm standing here and the Lord is saying it is over. He's speaking to someone. It is over. An anointing is coming on you now. It is over. 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 Madam, be free now. The power of God is touching someone here. In the name of Jesus, be free. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Please help them, help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Be free now in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare be free. be free, be free, be free. Every devil of darkness, be free now. Please open your heart and receive. Stretch my hands here. Anything that is held, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. 
free now. I'm seeing a chain, a chain around here. I don't know who that person is, but I lose you now. As I stand here, I lose you now by the spirit of the living God. I lose you now. I lose you now. Hallelujah. Overflow one. I don't know if I'm able to walk around. It's working now. Please believe. It's a few minutes. God is touching you. You came here so that he will visit you. It's impossible to not testify. Now, please look at me, Overflow 2. I'm not going to pass in your midst. I will walk right here. And as I walk, the power of the Holy Spirit will begin to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. Be free now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now, now, now. Be free. I take away every reproach. I take away every reproach. You can't stand it. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. We're talking of the anointing here. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. I stretch my hands here. Go now. Go now. Every reproach. Every reproach. Go now. Go now. I release your destiny. All of you standing here, I'm passing now. The power of God is coming on you. Be free. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk around. I may not go row by row. Please, let your heart be open. Please. Except God is not God. Whatever it is that has held you, as I pass by the Spirit, the power of God comes on you. Some of you will be receiving impartation. It's not everybody that is going to just be free from whatever it is. Father, in the name of Jesus, honor your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, be free. I may not be able to move, but please lift your hands. All of you, at the count of three, overflow three, let me hear you shout the name Jesus. The moment you shout that name, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like fire coming out of people. This is something living people. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. From the front to the be free now in the name of Jesus. I release your destiny now. I release your destiny now. Madam, look at me. I set her free now. Release her destiny right now. That woman you are holding. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I declare to you. I, I release speed inside. I want to pray that prayer now. I don't know what has slowed you down. Overflow three. From the front to the back. May the grace for speed come on you now. May the grace for speed come on you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, whether you are an usher or not, help anybody under the anointing close to you. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what has held your destiny bound, but in the name of Jesus, one more time, I want you to shout the name Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. You came for a miracle service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. Overflow three, look at me. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family. I will soon walk out, but 
I just want you to know you are part of the and that it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. The Lord is showing me a family here. There is a plague of sickness. Everybody from father to the last child. There is nobody who is fine. Right now as I'm speaking, the power of God is coming upon that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Overflow 3. I'm seeing the number 21. This is the healing anointing coming on 21 people. Right now in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. This is not a healing miracle. This is the anointing to heal. Right now from the front to the back. Upon gentlemen and upon ladies, receive that grace. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Please everyone, overflow one, two, three, main auditorium. Please open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. And declare that everything the Lord is doing must find expression in your life. Lift your voice and pray. Please lift your voice and pray. Please lift your voice and pray. 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 Voice and pray. God is changing something in someone's body. A blood disease. Just right where I'm standing. A blood disease is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, let me tell you, 
when when we do these things we are not wasting time at all you need to see what the lord um did in some of those overflows there are people who have real issues and sometimes madam please lift your hands i'd like you to shout jesus as loud as you can Let the name of the Lord be praised. The spirit of prayer. When I was in overflow three, I saw that grace. Would we'll do an impartation, but it's in this season. There is a spirit of prayer and supplication that is coming upon the body of Christ, especially in Zaria. There is a spirit and there is a grace for prayer. In the name of Jesus. Take that grace now. There is a grace and there is a spirit of prayer that is coming upon the body of Christ. You don't pray just by self-will. There is an agency. I declare now in this main auditorium, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, I stand by the spirit and I declare receive a baptism of this spirit. Flames upon your prayer life flames upon your prayer life flames upon your prayer life i declare capacity in your spirit man capacity i swing open the door for utterance in prayer grace to pray in the name of jesus christ someone in the media stand is receiving a baptism of the spirit of prayer a fresh grace a baptism of prayer hallelujah you see let me tell you this please listen one of the systems for enforcing dominion on earth is the ability to legislate in the place of prayer and when the saints cannot pray and pray with understanding then nothing will change within their territory an attack on your prayer life is a real attack on your spiritual life nobody prays out of convenience there is a grace that must come upon a man to pray hallelujah if you are in ministry i pray again for the grace for prayer let me tell you if you are a man of god and you are not a man of prayer you are not in ministry believe me you are not in ministry it's only a matter of time you will know you are not in ministry i decree and declare a supply of the spirit an ability from heaven upon men and women of god that anyone who has the call of god upon his life whether you know it or not the grace to pray take it now 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 the grace to travail not give me tea and bread not give me tea and bread to pray destiny altering prayers hallelujah praise the lord we'll quickly minister to the sick now um please listen for those of you who are coming for the first time we usually take prayer requests that i pray for now and if you have not written your prayer request please do so you can get a notebook or just beckon on someone by your left and right to just give you an opportunity to write while we are doing that please um i will minister to those overflow one okay the main auditorium and overflow two please listen main auditorium and overflow two um when i ask you to come you will come and stand in front here you'll be ministered to right here overflow one you will stand in front of your projector stand that away from the canopy to allow for space now um Will I call it overflow 2B now? The overflow that extends to second equa. 
Someone will come there to minister. All those who are trusting God for healings, protocol ushers, please just coordinate them. You will stand in front there and then overflow three. Um, okay, there's another overflow down towards overflow three. Um, they will join the ones at they will join the ones at um, the second equa area. So let that be a single overflow too. And then finally, overflow three. You can walk to the front of your projector stand. All of you who desire to be prayed for, we believe in the healing power of Jesus. I believe in miracles. And our time is gone. You'll be ministered to very fast. And then we'll tidy up other things. Whilst that is going on, please, we're trying to conserve time. You see that a, a standard miracle service has to really be a vigil. If you want to do a thorough walk, you're not going to be able to do a thorough walk within two or three hours. But we're trying to just do the best we can do with the time that we have while you are coming out please ushers pr join them or any other department um, to collect the the prayer request those online you can connect by faith if you're trusting god for healing and you can submit your prayer request and then it will be prayed for here praise the lord i believe in miracles if you have written your prayer request, um, the ushers, or you'll find a few people who will lift up your hands or lift up baskets, and you'll be allowed to put it there. Now, very quickly, those trusting God to be ministered to um, for any kind of healing, make your way out quickly, just like I've designated. Please, quickly, you come, stand here by faith. Overflow one in front of your projector stand. Overflow three in front of your projector stand. Overflow 2, you can join um, those in the main auditorium here. I hope I'm doing the right thing. And then Overflow 2B and 2C, let me call it now. 2B extending to second equa and 2C extending to the gate of the third overflow. All of you together will form one overflow and then we'll minister very, very fast very very fast so that we can finish while you are doing that please please let me advise especially for those outside as you are walking out make sure your phones your bags and any of your belonging is safe and then help those under the anointing god is delivering people setting people free and let's just let him be god praise the lord hallelujah accept the people ministering to you ask you questions don't worry just a touch and then you be back to your seat and check yourself whether you're on a wheelchair or on a crutch or sitting whatever the situation is whilst they touch and they minister just expect a miracle hallelujah father we give you praise in the name of jesus within the time we have we pray that your healing power will flow let the sick be healed transform our lives visit us in a new way glorify Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray let incurable situations live and I pray God that you give your people testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ in
like you, my beautifier. My beautifier. Hey, you're taking away the shame. Taking away the pain. Taking away the pain. Make my life so beautiful. Make my life so beautiful. My beautifier. My beautifier. You are taking away. These are the guys that came from um, where? You came from Thailand. This gentleman is a professional footballer. Where's your colleague? Where are you? Come. We salute your coming. Both of them are professional footballers. What happened to your legs? Our last league match last year, so I got a fracture from it. And from there, it's affected your career. You're a footballer too. You came all the way from Thailand. You believe Jesus will heal you? These are your... You see, you cannot... I don't even know what this, this does. I asked to stop because they are, we're having some interesting cases today. Please shift. God is doing a serious miracle for this lady. Said she had... Is it ovarian cancer? Ovarian what? Something like that. Mama? Oh, dear. Look what God is doing. She will be healed, eh? Amen. Mm. Because when I looked at her, I did not see a pregnancy. I saw something that looked like a mass of something. This is demonic. Huh? Where are you from, madam? Where did you come from? From I'm from Kano. From Kano? Yes. Jesus, look what is happening. Let her be healed now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mama, don't cry. Cancer, I speak to you. You have a name, you have a voice. Release this lady now. In the name of Jesus. My friend, look at me. You came all the way from Thailand. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. This fractured leg, I fix it back now. You see what is happening to you? What do you feel happening to you? Huh? Look at me. Go, run. Don't mind them, just focus on me. If you're having pain, we're not acting here. Huh? So if you're having any, a miracle has happened to you. When I held your leg, I felt the power of God moving through you. You see, this thing you see is a very demonic thing. It's not about fracture. Do you understand? Number one, come, my friend. You're together too. I want to pray for you. You see, God is looking for people to represent him in every sphere. Huh? Just because you're footballers, doesn't mean that you ignore God. Many footballers don't love Jesus. They love football and they love the money that comes with it. But we're not only here. God has perfected this. Let me pray on the x-ray, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this miracle remain forever. Amen. I want to pray for both of you. I'll, I'll see you after the service and just say hi since you came just to honor you. But listen to me. I'm sure I don't know you. I've never seen you. Can I prophesy on your career? In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, from today, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You are a footballer, but you play by the anointing, my friend. It takes more than just kicking a ball. I release the grace to excel. And for you, I release the grace to excel. 
right now two of you will return back to thailand and the lord will honor you in jesus name god bless you thank you so much for your patience we're about to pray on the requests i believe in the power of the holy spirit and i truly believe that as we pray on these requests that every situation that has defied god it must answer to the name of the lord let her go now i curse you by the god of heaven out now who else praise the lord please let's rise thank you for your patience it's a miracle service if you are yet to submit your request please go ahead please go ahead hallelujah we have gotten all kinds of humbling testimonies from this revelation this is this is a revelation that God gave as a communication of his love and the depth of his desire to see people touched not everybody can be prophesied to not everybody may be personally ministered to but this is a representation of your pain is a representation of your expectation and please I want you to believe release your faith you may not have come out requiring healing and with all the ministrations you may not have been directly ministered to I want you to believe because this is representing you before God I want you to stretch your hands here and pray passionately pray passionately You're not done. that Lord this that I'm bringing before you this will be the last I truly believe make sure we collect for those outside if you are still being ministered to no problem you can just focus while you are receiving hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord I'm seeing fire burn on this thing I wanted to go down on my knees but I just saw fire burning and the Lord said I should declare and speak over it I'll declare and speak over it um, there is one gentleman and one lady one gentleman one lady the power of God is coming on two of them the moment that happens then I have the release to speak on this these are signs and wonders my precious people sometimes God does these things and we have no idea why he does them a gentleman and a lady this is the sign that God gave me now I'm ready to pray in the name of Jesus believe with me I stand upon this request now and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every request laid before God here I decree and declare it lives your life forever please believe please believe we are believers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hear me the Bible says these Egyptians you see today he said you will see them no more forever therefore I declare that everything that defied the name of the Lord represented here I declare it is buried now and forever every impossible situation written here situations that men do not have the ability to produce or provide I call on the God of heaven the creator of the ends of the earth in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural miracles supernatural miracles let there be supernatural miracles that time we had not started this a woman who had been barren for eight years 
wrote a request then we had not started this i'm not sure i, I think koinonia just started and when it was brought to me one of our precious ladies she used to be in the media and i held and i just heard that it was done in the spirit and i said that was it and the woman had three plates one two three now that's not the miracle the miracle is that none of the child had any kind of issue whatsoever three of them are alive today i have seen them they are strong they are fine the bible says that everybody who ministers should minister according to the measure of grace when you attempt something higher than your level of anointing except god instructs you it is pride we understand our spiritual jurisdictions there are things that you have there are things you may not have now in experience i want to pray for you there is most of the requests here it is favor that will produce it listen listen many requests that we are writing whether it's a whole notebook you could as well get a clean sheet of paper and just write one word favor and that would be it it would still be worth it there are just different versions of expressing your need for favor I want to pray that grace there is a real grace for favor in the name of Jesus Christ favor listen favor is not having money favor is access to the hearts of men it's more than money you can have money and not be favored the proof of favor is not just money the proof of favor is the loyalty of men in the name that is above all names i decree and declare let the grace for favor rest upon you now let it bring about the accomplishment of this request in the mighty name of jesus there are requests written here it is mercy that will answer it the bible says even the lawful captive shall be delivered i declare mercy upon this request in the name of jesus christ father i stand representing the desires the pain of your people you have done it again and again and we will never take you for granted lord let it please you that everyone who has submitted a request may they have the opportunity to stand upon this altar to testify in the name of jesus christ the spirit that brought the need for these requests i banish them from your life in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ may it please the lord that testimonies will come out of this yes. now please lift your hands we're closing let me speak over your life it is always my honor to do this because i have seen the creative power of the word of god i've seen its ability to turn to change to transform lives There was a very humbling testimony something a gentleman this is something that happened like last week i thought he would come and share maybe he would come down to zaria and testify himself that's why i didn't say it he walks in somewhere like a factory or something and he's given the key to the warehouse now i don't know what kind of carelessness happened whether his friends or whatever this gentleman just misplaced the key and these are very serious security keys it's not like something you just carry a stone and hit and buy another one and it became a serious issue for him and they threatened to call the police they threatened to do a lot of things and i was about to sleep when i got his text he had been calling and i said please send the text and he sent it and i looked at it 
and he said i'm about to lose my job my wife my children this and that and suddenly the anointing of the spirit came upon me on my bed i laid hands and i sent him a text i said find that key that's all i wrote god is my witness i will not stand here at this level and corner stories this gentleman said he just was listening to a koinonia message and he slept i'm telling you the truth under god and he saw me in a dream this is what he said i was not there he saw me giving him the key in a dream he woke up in the morning listen listen that's not a miracle he woke up in the morning opened his drawer and the key was there <laughs> truly speaking you see let me tell you this if you are struggling to believe this you are not a christian because the very foundation of christianity was a strange miracle that a spirit leaves his body and returns back at will please let's not limit god i say these things to challenge us these versions of unbelief we continue to endorse is not going to make our lives fruitful you have nothing to lose to stretch your faith all the way don't they limited god in the wilderness by saying can god make a way hallelujah what is strange about an angel of the lord coming to drop a key somewhere didn't you hear the testimony of the gentleman who a stranger called him and gave him a number he shared here you remember gave him a number he calls a general in the army and they say who gave you my number and he doesn't know who gave him his number bottom line he gets a job as a result look let me tell you there is nothing god cannot do i'm praying for you the dimension of testimonies that will it will shock you the testifier first receive it now receive that strange order of testimonies In the name of Jesus Christ. A gentleman here, one of the years, checked his name on admission list and clearly saw that he didn't get anything. He frowned his way to his father who said, you are a foolish son, I'm not surprised. And he came, I don't know if it was miracle service or one of the prayers, returns back to the board and checks and there is his name admission list see let me tell you this let me tell you this you you are at liberty to not believe but don't say it's a lie just say i don't believe based on my work with god and based on what i have not seen but don't say it's a lie he told nathaniel you will see greater things than this jesus said it are we together strangers that must arise and step in over your issue in the name of jesus i connect you to them i connect you to them i connect you to them by the power of the holy spirit there are times you have the gift but you do not have access to the ears of the kings you will need those who are already in the palace otherwise joseph you will remain in the prison I pray for you. Whoever has access to the ears of your helper, may God compel them to speak about you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for everyone trusting God for a job. In the name that is above all names, please believe. And by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I declare that between now and August, by the grace and the name of the Lord, return with a miracle job. <laughs> Hallelujah. I pray for those in ministry. The fire that must come on a man. John Wesley says, set yourself on fire. And the world will come to watch you born. I decree and declare. May that fire come upon your life. 
every dying business in this place hear the word of the Lord I speak to you come back to life now and to live to deliver those appointed to death there are people appointed to death I heard a man of God give a story of a gentleman who missed a flight he missed a flight and the plane crashed and everybody was happy he missed the flight they didn't know he followed a train that crashed are we together you miss a flight and you are saying Lord I give you praise you enter a train and you die these are people appointed to death in the name of Jesus death is a spirit it has a voice it can hear I forbid the earth from receiving your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every family under financial captivity every family here and every individual sincerely trusting God to come through for you financially I pray for you may the month of June be your month please believe me may the month of June be your month let the hand of God let the grace of God rest upon you God causing all grace to abound towards you may you have sufficiency in the name of Jesus Christ every project you have in front of you whether it is a building project whether it's a spiritual growth project whether it's a ministry expansion project whether it's a business project it says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it I pray in the name of Jesus whatever project you have the grace to execute it let it be given to you now I don't know what has destroyed your appetite for the Word of God you will open your Bible and look at it like this like a storybook you can read a book of 600 pages in one week but you can hardly finish one page of the Bible it's an attack I decree and declare let the spirit of revelation and a passion for the Word of God may it rest upon you may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ two more prayer points and we're done hearing is our father glorified that ye bear much fruit the grace for results is called the power of performance receive that grace now I speak to you produce results produce results repeated results predictable results in every area of your life be fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me pray for you. Everything that is alive grows. When you give birth to a child and he cannot walk after three years, no teeth, he can't talk, you know that something is wrong with that child. Are we true? Your destiny is like a child. If it is alive, then it should grow. When a tree grows and begins to mature, it begins to branch. Are we together now? And then it starts to invite the birds. It also invites men to come and partake of the fruit. I don't know what has taunted your growth in life and in destiny. But as we cap up this month's miracle service, especially your spiritual life, some of you you've not backslidden but sincerely you've been at the same level it's not like you've gone down as it were but you've just rotated around the same experience i declare rise to a new level rise to a new level rise to a new level thank you jesus thank you jesus let me encourage you listen make sure to pay attention to the testimonies that God gives you 
and be sure to make it a duty to testify let it not be a burden to you are not testimonies don't just endorse that a man of god is anointed testimonies are proof to men to creation to all and sundry that god is love and that he is still mighty testimonies are a tool that consolidates the convictions of men and creates the same in others it's important to not withhold testimony someone's faith is depending on the miracle that comes from releasing your faith so be sure that as god touches you you may not have the luxury of coming down to zaria for those of you who are far but we're on various social media platforms you can always make your testimonies known and then you can contact our helplines and then someone will be there to document your testimony and it will edify the people of god praise the lord still standing everyone our time is gone i want to make an altar call i believe in salvation listen it matters that in a crowd of people like this and many more connected around the world it matters that we give people an opportunity to encounter jesus let's settle down please let me have your attention lend me your attention for a minute or two you are here in the main auditorium overflow one overflow two and all the auxiliary overflows overflow three and online and you know that you are yet to truly surrender your all to jesus and receive of his life or there are others who are saying apostle i have given my life to jesus but i need to rededicate my life to start a work with him that is truthful and serious wherever you are and whatever category you belong to our time is gone just one minute for this aside from overflow three because of time i will request overflow one overflow two wherever you are making this altar call and those in quickly leave your seat very boldly and i like for you to come and stand right here let it be my honor and my joy to lead you to jesus i don't expect you to still be thinking about it the Holy Spirit should already be convicting you. Do not wait for anyone to come. Be the first. Let me for time's sake count one to five. One. Quickly, please, if you're coming, hurry up. Win that war. Do not say we came in group and I do not want anybody to know that I'm handing over my life to Jesus. Receiving the life of God is not a funeral service. Is something that is worth celebrating koinonia are you appreciating them keep coming come to jesus young and old come to him the bible says all who will come to him he will in no wise cast away i don't believe this is all overflow one overflow two join them very quickly and the lord added daily to the church as many as should be saved hallelujah praise the lord make sure that overflow three has uh, the people out god bless you i salute your courage please lift your right hand as i lead you to make this prayer you are not just reciting a poem this is a real um conversation between you and the lord you are receiving his life and you are handing over yours say after me lord jesus say it from the depth of your heart lord jesus some of you come for altar call when we are saying in jesus name you are not born again you should come the, the the prayer you don't stroll around and then round up you don't round up the prayer of salvation you participate with your heart man believes are we together okay lord jesus i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you resurrected for me tonight i receive your life i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that i reign in life i have the life of god and i declare that from tonight I am a child of God. I move forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these ones. 
precious as they are we receive them into the fold the family of faith and I declare their sins forgiven and I declare by the authority of Scripture that beginning from today the grace to walk victoriously is released upon them Holy Spirit I commend them to you that you continue your ministry in their lives make mighty men and women out of them I bless you with the grace that grants you capacity to stay consistent may the Lord bless you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen I salute all of you for making this decision and then for those who also made online thank you for making this decision very quickly I like you to follow the someone waving her hands a lady and all of you in concert please follow her and um, there'll be a group of people to receive you very briefly and you'll be back let's honor them Koinonia. Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.